Okay, today we're going to make a seamless pattern. It's going to be something that you can use as texture and repeats. Doesn't mean you won't be able to see that it's repeating, but you won't see the seams. So uh, I have two examples here. I just took these with my cell phones. Uh, just a picture of some concrete from the sidewalk and a brick uh, that's oddly shaped. And uh, yeah, we're going to make seamless patterns out of this. Uh, there, I made them. I lowered the resolution because I figure this is for a game, so it doesn't need to be high resolution. Let's start with the concrete pattern here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to image, canvas size, and I'm just going to make it uh, 128 by 128 pixels. And normally I would try to go over here where it's all kind of one color, but just for this tutorial to make it stand out what I'm doing, I'm going to pick over here where one corner is darker. I'm going to say resize. And then you can see it resized the canvas, but the image is still here. What we want to do next is go up to layers and layer to image size. Now, if I copy this and I create a new image, so that image was 128 by 128. I'm going to do one uh, 1280 by 1280, so it's 10 times that size. So this is my image here. I'm going to choose my fill bucket. And you may or may not know this, but a fill bucket, you can fill a color, but you can also fill a pattern. GIMP has a bunch of pre-made patterns, but if you have something in your clipboard, the first option here is what's in your clipboard. So we have our concrete pattern. If I was to paste this in here, you can definitely see the seams, right? So we're going to remove those. So undo that, go back to our cropped image here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Filters, Map, Seamless. Okay, and what that basically did is it basically took a feathered image of the center of the image here and put it in all four corners. I'm going to copy that now, go back here, Fill Bucket, Fill Pattern, and boom. Now you don't see the seam. Now if I back up, you can definitely see the repeating pattern over time, but you don't see the seam. Let's do it again with this uh, brick image here. I'm going to go up to Image. I'm going to go Canvas Size. I'm going to say 256 by 256 for this one. And you can see the little square there is what I'm cropping. I'm going to actually do a little bigger. I'm going to go 512 by 512. Center that up there. There we go, resize. This one definitely you'll see that. So if I was to, again, go layer, layer to image, copy that, open up a new, and do 5,000, well, uh, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of a large image. It's warning me that that's a large resolution. But I paste that in there. You can definitely see where that corner is. Hopefully, uh, again, I try to avoid things like that, but our filter map seamless should take care of that for us. Now I'll copy that, come back here, and paste in that pattern. And there you go. There's no seam. Again, you can see the repeating of it uh, if you back out enough. But if you move in, you're not going to see the seam of the image. Now again, this works for busy textures like this. This obviously won't work uh, with something that's well-defined. Um, but like concrete walls, plaster walls, uh, stone, sometimes grass, uh, depending on how uh, directly you're looking at it. But I hope you found this useful. We're going to use this uh, in upcoming tutorials to add some texture to some tiles we make. So thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope that you have a great day.